Right, you're watching on Dan Canet's Rainy Channel. Sorry about the state of my bedroom because it is an absolute mess in here. It is an absolute mess in here, but I will tidy it up at some point. So I'm just going to do an updated video on my Argos Value Range Value 36 inch ceiling fan. Now you may notice that the, the glass globe is missing off it because I have a disco ball, which is a standard bayonet cap. And what I did is, as I put that bulb back in and put the globe back on, I over tightened the screws and then the glass just shattered and then and eventually the whole thing just fell off, fell off and there was broken glass everywhere. So it's been like a year and a half since I've last filmed this fan. It's, I've still got it, it's still mounted on my ceiling. As you can tell, this is what my room looks like, I think, because obviously, yeah, the bed's there, I've got the telly there, wardrobe. Sorry it's a mess, but you know, I will sort it out. I'm filming on a Samsung Galaxy J3 on like my S5, which is well broke. So yeah, so this is my fan. It's it's uh, got nice blades on it. As you can tell, they are really dusty. And yeah, on one of them, there's a chip there because I have been chucking like stuff into it. So, but you know, I'm not going to do that anymore because I want to keep this fan nice, even though I am missing the globe off it. And I've got a different light switch. I've got a chrome light switch, to obviously to match my plug socket and the aerial. So it's on the high setting, so why is my camera not bloody focusing? Right, so I'm going to start off with high. And also guys, um, last year we had the electrical matter come out to, t to test all the electrics, including the smoke alarm, the consumer unit, everything like that. And as the, because they pretty much have just messed the whole consumer unit, they've moved all the trip switches around, some of them don't work properly. And yeah, basically this ceiling fan was tripping the electrics, because obviously they've moved all the trip switches around to lower amps, which I think is stupid. So basically we had to have to take this whole thing down, and what they've done is they've put Wago connectors on, that you've probably seen on, on Ultimate Handyman's channel. When, when he puts up the spotlight and he uses Wago connectors, that's what we've used for this because obviously the connections weren't that neat. And uh, yeah, so I had to use Wago connectors to join the switch, the switch to join all the the three lives and the switch live and the neutrals. So yeah, that's the high set, and as you can tell, it blows a lot of air on high. So now for medium. It does make a bit of a rattling noise because of the screws around the bulb. And yeah, so that's medium speed. I don't have it on medium although, I just have it on the high setting all the time. So as you can tell, it's a, as you can tell it is a bit out of balance, but you know, that, that does that, it, that's okay. You can see my son in the mirror there. So it does make a bit of a buzzing noise as well, because you know, it is like nearly three years old this. So you know, and now for low. I'll demonstrate the light for you. It's got a standard Tesco 11 watt CFL in. It's my phone going off. Uh, no, my tablet. My tablet's over there. So, and now for off. And I'll turn the switch off and put it back on high. And it's got a nice coast down as well. So yeah, that's my uh, Argos Value Range 36 inch ceiling fan. I mean, my mum's been thinking about getting one of these because honestly, we're currently going through a massive heat wave, like temperatures up to like 26, 27 degrees. And so I've been using this. I've been using my little my little clip-on fan and also my 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 only desk fan, my desk fan. So yeah, that's my 36 inch ceiling fan for all you fan enthusiasts out there. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.